There are many reasons why we have to tackle the environmental crisis we are facing seriously. And education for sustainable development can be a key contributor, not only to understanding, but also mitigating many of the big impacts. Um, if we just have bureaucratic or political or technical response, it's not going to work. Without education, the solutions will not be sustainable. So unless we love our surroundings, unless we understand the relevance of our surroundings and our environment for our life and for us, we will not love it and we will not want to protect it. So the solutions must address the whole spectrum of our society and they need to involve young people who can be given the knowledge and skills to tackle this crisis. Enable all the youth to participate uh, in society uh, to develop the society yeah? and uh, this is uh, the main goal of education for sustainable development. So this is the challenge, this is the challenge that how do we actually make our children aware about the environment, educate them on it and so that they can protect their tomorrow. been acknowledged at the United Nations level across the world that we have to address this and this is the Maryland's interpretation of it. It's really creative and how it's been implemented as a requirement to achieve and that to me is the, uh, the highlight of the, the experiences you're going from well you should do it to you must do it and that to me is significant. The World Future Council facilitates dialogue between policymakers, uh, parliamentarians and civil society. In this workshop, we brought together representatives of education and environmental ministries from 16 countries from across the world to exchange best practices on education for sustainable development from their regions, but also to see firsthand what Maryland is achieving with its innovative environmental literacy regulation. I see that in Maryland, the, the, the literacy environmental program, it, it, is, it is quite a specific, it, it establishes um, 10 areas where it, it, it can be implemented. We don't have that yet so clear and so specific. So I think this is an opportunity we have to, let's say, go to the next level, to the next step. This workshop showed me how important networking is. Networking in my own country, but also networking with other countries. So we have all experiences in environmental education. One of the learnings that I'm already taking, it is the importance to uh, do outdoor and, and more field experiences. So uh, whatever you do in the classroom gets enhanced when you go out and vice versa. So when you go out, if you have done a, a proper job in the classroom, uh, students will be able to get more from the experience. you have a really good relationship between environment uh, ministry and the education ministry working together to do these kind of things. But in Costa Rica it's quite difficult to have this communication between both ministries. The thing that I want to do when I go back to my country is I want to try to find the mechanisms to have a better communication between both ministries to work together. And, and do more things together. In Maryland, this work is done by teachers and by NGOs. In Germany, most of it is done by NGOs. So it is really interesting for me how schools do it and uh, in which way NGOs do it and how um, they support schools. And so I have learned some things how we can support our NGOs to do it in a better way. The program here in Maryland is fascinating, it's really good and I think uh, it is right to do this in Germany in, a, in, in, a, in the same way, I think. Many different activities and many different partnerships and people trying to do this, the, the same thing that we are doing at Costa Rica. That's make me feel so happy because I can see that, that, that you can do 
things like this in a different parts of the world. What is exciting for us is that there was a lot of exchange of excellent ideas. We are now going to be working with many of the delegates to see how the experiences and innovations of the Maryland's environmental literacy standards can be spread to other areas locally, regionally and nationally. We will keep working to spread visionary policies like this across the world. <laughs>